Hello there, traveler, and welcome back to the world of Zyathe. This is our campaign set in the world created by the brave adventurers over at Gooey Cube. I am Alexander, your weaver of tales. And as always, I am joined by my companions, Dylan. <laughs> John. Hey, it's Osteric. <laughs> and, and Cassie. Hello, Neftalia. <laughs> uh, so, uh, without further ado... Hang up your cloak, grab a drink, and sit back as we dive back into Chapter 1 of the Red Star Rising campaign, The Darkest Dream. Where we last left off. Where was that? At the carnival. You all oh. began your rounds. <laughs> uh, Leaf, Ostrich, and Neftalia. You all, uh, after the old well debacle and nearly... Uh, what I would call it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you did survive. <laughs> um, <laughs> sure. But uh, barely. After coming out of that... You still had a task to do, as the day was still very young. You briefly rested, just to regain a little bit of strength, before you began your rounds as the Zatis of the Carnival, the Helpers. Your mission, to walk the area, deal with any problems that may come up. But you were warned to be as uh, non-lethal as possible. We don't even want to start a fight, especially not murder. So, throughout the day, you stop by a few areas on the beginning of your uh, your rounds. Those areas being, uh, you stop by the uh, main food and drink wagon. Stop by the gambling tents. You had a. Uh, an issue for uh, Freysha Firehair that you solved rather quickly. Um, and then an issue with Tevran Zis, where you uh, quickly caught up to someone who just uh, nicked a coin purse off of him. Uh, Jillian Venix, she uh, revealed herself to you. Um, you then went to the archery range and uh, didn't fare too well, uh, save for one of you. That's... Uh, Cheated. <laughs> hey, I, um, I rigged the game in my favor, sir. Mm -hmm. That's not cheating. By um, definition, that is cheating. But then you went to the wagon of sweets, uh, talked to a uh, friend and uh, Stoof, saw a uh, weird jug of some kind, of <laughs> something kind of akin to shine. <laughs> you tasted it. Some, it tasted absolutely terrible, <laughs> dirty, and metallic almost. Some crappy shine. Um, after leaving there, you saw a young uh, group of hooligans, ne'er do wells, the Dragon Punchers crew. Um, they were messing with this burrow of some kind and forced a couple of giant centipedes to emerge from their burrow. And they ran off screen. But you did deal with them and then we're heading back towards uh, the, the wrestling field where you would... Uh, go to talk to Florag and Kaunasi. Upon walking in that direction, a uh, leaf, oh. you had a moment where as the group was carrying on the fires, they they almost seemed to, to overtake you uh, of, of the carnival. Your, your mind began to fall into a state that it's never been before. You watched the flames consume everything. All of Carnival. You only saw fire for a brief moment of time before it passed. Ostrich, Neftalia, you walk uh, a few feet forward before you realize you're missing a party member. You turn 
and about 15 or so feet away, you see Leaf standing there. Looks like he's recovering from a very brief headache of some sort. Leaf, you all right? I think so. I thought I wasn't, but I am now. Would you care to elaborate? Is that it? Okay. <laughs> the camp Do fires. I believe that? Do I believe, <laughs> do I believe when he goes, it's all okay? <laughs> Hold on one second. Finish what you were saying, uh, Leaf. <laughs> the, the camp. I thought. I thought the campfires exploded, <laughs> but they didn't. Uh, what was in that tea? Not that. That's if, um, no. It's also Normally, like, uh, due to his uh, his uh, his touch, his blood touch. You can't see that his eyes are like like they're completely yellow. Which, being around him, you would know that would mean that he he's super scared. What do you do? I, well, I don't I don't know what you saw, Leaf, but it seems to be okay now. You have nothing to be afraid of. You're with us. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sometimes things don't explode. Usually things don't explode. I think that it, the explosioning thing is a rarity. Besides, if a fire breaks out, you're with like the guy who knows how to deal with them. So, I think you'd be fine. Yes, he can cook you a great meal. Exactly. While the tents are melting. <laughs> exactly. While everything's on fire, I'll make you some s'mores. Okay. How's that sound? All right. That's like a different version of the "this is fine" meme. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. Just a happily making s'mores. Just like, yeah, this is fine. Suck it up. It is. It's got. It just happens got, sometimes. You know, it's leaf uh, just eliminate. fetal position. You got Neftalia just like trying to put it out, and Ostrich cooking s'mores, telling everyone <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. <laughs> I got it out of control. I got a it's fire extinguisher. Ready. It's fine. It's almost ready. <laughs> <laughs> um, you said you wanted yours a little goat. Golden brown. <laughs> 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 little golden brown. Oh my goodness. Done on the edges. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> as you all turn, uh, after dealing with with this weird uh, occurrence, you head towards the wrestling field. Osric, perception check. Oh, no. You can do it. I believe right. in you. <laughs> Natural 20 for 21. Yes! <laughs> you just narrowly <laughs> avoid mm. a cow pie on the ground. <laughs> Aww. You uh, start the to walk. The one time we wanted him to fail. Say, Whoa, that is not where it's supposed to <laughs> oh. be. Oh. The worst part is there's no cows around. How do you make it that big? <laughs> what? Uh, uh, there, uh, there are cows. Uh, the Hanukkahs oh. have some cows. Uh, it just seems that maybe the front uh, uh, didn't do as good as a job as they were supposed to with uh, cleaning up before the day. So. Jesus. Crazy. Narrowly avoided. Ugh. Um, but continuing on your way to the wrestling field. Ready for more handouts? Uh, no, no. Oh, as, papers. As, uh, as always. What do you uh, mean? No, you get to see them first. As always, Dylan gets to see them first. Yay! So I'm special. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! This is going crazy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is everything on fire? Is everything on fire? Oh my god, it is on fire! <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Um, it is crazy. So, <laughs> the wrestling field. He was just he was just cosplaying the dude all the way to the right. Wait, what? <laughs> the Dylan's when he screams so loud he got out. That's what this guy's doing. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh wrestling field sits to the east of the tent of veils and it's a little more than a, a cleared patch of flat ground several rough dusty circles have been formed uh from numerous matches over the past several days 
Uh, here, competitors uh, train and uh, lesser wrestling events play out in between the main events, which take place in the tall tent. As you approach, Kanasi is uh, pinning a local in a painful looking hold. Uh, Boreg is looking on with a smirk and greets you. Uh, hello, my Zartis. How is your task going? Any trouble beyond that crazed bear? I've never seen anything like that. Um, one murder plot, and... It's caught on fire for a second. Where? But it's better now. A murder plot. I, um, and then I think the, um, <clears throat> we found some bad, bad alcohol. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. <laughs> Stoof make that. No, mm -mm. that's the problem. Where'd you find it? By his tent? Or his wagon? Hmm. I don't know. If, uh, if you see anything more about it, please. Oh, we're investigating, don't you worry. And a murder plot, you say? Yes. A former murder plot. I believe everybody's investigating now. Good job. I had uh, I had my doubts here and there, but I was more than happy to see how my satis would perform today. And so far, even though a little late, doing well. Very well done. And you just hear briefly, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you you hear I yield, I yield, I yield You look over and you see uh Cal Nancy. Holy crap. <clears throat> she Begin. is pretty Joker. and intimidating simultaneously. She's definitely <laughs> a mom. The mama bear. Yeah. And then as uh Kanasi kind of gets up after pinning this guy down, you see her just not really out of breath at all. Just kind of smack a little bit of the dirt from the ground off of her hands. Looks down. Reaches for the man. Helps him back up. And uh, Natalia, you get a big smack on your back from Borag. <laughs> all right, my Zotis. Time for a short break from your guard duties. If your group is up for it, uh, several townies, and he gestures over to where, uh, off to the right of the uh, wrestling field, there, there's a good group of people and a rope on the ground. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> we're looking for a match of tug of war. Uh, but they won't wager if Galnassi and I are uh, on the rope. I'm going to, like grab Ostrich by the wrist and uh, attempt to like grab Leaf also. Uh, Ostrich, you're in the back. Uh, Leave your pack on. And uh, I'm just going to kind of run that direction. If you win, the troop gets 30 golds. You can beat them, I'm sure. And if we lose... Don't oh. say that. Hey, I got to cover all options here, okay? You hear? Oh, they won't. As... Theros, Vegla, Borag, and Kanasi's oldest son approach you all from the other side of the wrestling field, looking ready to aid you. Yes. <laughs> um, as he uh, walks up, Borag says, All right, four of you, good luck. Uh, Theros catches up quickly to the three of you. So how's guard duty? I I had to stay and help out around here, but is it good? Have you ran into any trouble yet? So much trouble. Really? Yes. Did you have to fight? I made a friend. Yeah. You made a friend? What? Who? He won a prize. He's, he won a prize. But then he got clubbed. Oh. Oh, oh he got yeah. clubbed? Oh, man. I'm really missing everything out here. <laughs> but... Nonetheless. I'm sure you're doing important work here. 
Um, as as you guys talk about uh, your run-ins today, uh, Theros walks with you all over to the rope, and Kalnassi is approaching uh, over that way as well. So, as Kalnassi walks up, <sighs> Zatis, how are we today? Yeah, A good. A little uh, worse for where I can tell. You've run into trouble already. And then Theros will interrupt. <laughs> They have, but they handled it pretty well. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to help them out with this uh, uh, talk of war, uh, Mother, if you don't mind. Oh, Boreg said. Boreg said. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm sure it's fine. Take a moment from your duties and get ready. There are some townies that are really uh, ready to show the Hanatars that who is tougher, I guess. Make us proud. Mm. She gives her last look to Theros before she kind of walks over to uh, Count Ashy, or uh, walks over to uh, Boreg. Uh. <laughs> so, like, as we're sauntering over, um, I'm going to take my bow off my back and unstring it. I'm going to put it in Osric's bag, and then I'm going to take my quiver off and put it in Osric's bag. I'm like, we've got to weigh you down and weigh you down. <laughs> and I'm going to pull out like every oh. bit of little bit and bob I can find on my person and just load him down. It's probably so, adds like eight ounces, but in starts, my brain. Slowly starts to like tilt backwards more to accommodate for the weight load. As you keep like loading him, he's like straight and just just starts like to the, put everything up. Like the more you load him, he kind of just starts leaning to like accommodate. Okay. Um... <laughs> So, as you guys are helping, Boreg says, Oh! And, um, uh -oh. <laughs> well, not Boreg, sorry. Um, Theros says, Oh, hold on. And uh, he takes uh, his great axe. Oh, God. And tries to just shove it handled down uh, into the bag. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm gonna like start shifting hey. my things out of the way. I have four javelins. Let's put that in there too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Strap it to the side. Strap, ah, ah. Ah. Strap it to the side. Strap it to the side. Don't put it in the bag. There's some. Hey, you better not crack an egg. It's hitting something. Yeah, so just the eggs. Quit hitting it. Why You're leaking. You put the eggs at the bottom of your pack, Austin. Because egg. they're protected. I don't fall. I'm close to the ground anyway. Is this not like it's got no more? Perception check. Uh, 11. You don't see it because you're complaining, but you see uh, uh, Theros just take two daggers and just put them in the bag <laughs> as he's complaining. <laughs> the eggs at the bottom. I never fall. I'll, I'll, pull you guys out, know I'll pull out my dagger too and like drop it at the same time he drops his in. So <laughs> <never> know. <laughs> All right. As you watch this happen, um, Boreg says, before we begin, uh, have you, you talked to uh, um, Cray today? Mm hmm. How do you, how do you see him? Um, as a general rule, disappointed in us, which isn't abnormal. I don't know if it's my imagination or not, but he's. He seems edgy here lately. I really can't tell the difference. Apparently, it seems that it seems he's not sleeping much at all. Always walking around the camp, like he's looking for something or someone. Um, or maybe he's just worried about something. I don't know. Is it just been when we got to this area? Uh, at, least, at least the past week, at least. And now that you, the uh, three of you, kind of think back, he did seem tired. Like little bags under the eyes. And maybe that's why he might have been, maybe why that uh, knife throwing contest might have been a little bit too close for comfort. So, as the tug of war event begins to get set up, I believe uh, we could use slightly more upbeat music. Listen, all I'm saying is there's an art the to packing calm. this bag, and I know how <laughs> it goes. You don't just pull open and then cram the blade in the back. No, 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 no. The blade has to go against the back of the body because then it offers most support and then it protects the other thing. And oh, just, I'm gonna try to like lift his great axe and just like shove it in the back, like closer to his back. So yeah, uh, that's better. As <laughs> you look across, you see uh, 
four townies line up to pick up the rope opposite you. The first one. She has a face that her lover, her her uh, mother loves her very very much. Um, human female. Did he have a beard? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, human you female. Never know. Uh, roll me a perception check. The three of you. I'll even have uh, Theros uh, roll. <laughs> so you got a nine. Thirteen. <laughs> Three. Wow. Theros. Um, Ostrich, as you're telling people about how to pack a bag, pack a bag, <laughs> Theros comes up, nudges you. She can't take her eyes off of you. Who? And you look across. Oh, God. Which one? Is the face all they could love? Hey. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Wait, Oscar, behind you, her, you should be in front. <laughs> behind her, you see a skinny human with a long beard. Is it female? No. no. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. Eyes on the prize, Hila. Eyes on the prize. You see, he, he's like real amped. He's like grabbing the the uh, uh, the rope, and uh, behind him, you see a dwarven male with a beard. Grab onto the have. rope. <laughs> Look, looks around. <laughs> Easy. Shizettes. And in the very back, a big, big human. Male. He grabs the rope with one hand. And he's like huge. Does he have a beard? Uh, no. <laughs> he has a bald baby head. Oh, <laughs> Wait, there, are, there are five of them. He's got yeah. There's five of them. of them. Sorry, the, no. The uh, there's four of them. Oh, okay. Uh, grabs his rope, one hand. <sighs> Can we get something to eat after this? Bursting out of his shirt, it looks like the lower half of that shirt gave up, and <laughs> <laughs> really, it's just buttoned on the top half. <laughs> But even then, you're like, that. It's a big man for a big shirt. It's a big boy. Um, the guy in front of him, that dwarven male, he turns. <laughs> hey, you lot. <laughs> Gruber's hungry again. <laughs> <laughs> you're all going down. If Gruber the fatty is hungry, they say for somebody. He's strong. You stay right did, here. Did you say somebody's hungry? You stay right here. Did somebody say they're hungry? I said I'm hungry. Hungry? All right. <laughs> uh, Count Asti walks up. I'll oh, strike. Represent us. Is it not representing to give fair sport to our opponent? Count Asti yeah. gestures for the four of you. So pick up your rope. What order are you in? Who's in the front? You was first. Just say you was first. <laughs> he was yeah, just you, okay. <laughs> he on. was in the front. He hops on the rope and he just like he puts his little talons on it. He's got his <laughs> arms, his, his little wings like ready. <laughs> All right. So who's who's first? <laughs> who's in the front besides you? <laughs> me. Oh. No. You and me. We should, we should put. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kind of like shove Osric towards the front. Why, why are you putting me? I thought you wanted me in the back. What's going on? I... Sarah, so back this. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Just trust. Trust. What? Osric, you're in the front. I you guess see I'm the, the, the human woman. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you hungry too? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Ostrich doesn't audibly go, ooh. That was John going, ooh. Uh, if a woman's got to comb it back a little bit, that's a little bad. She's <laughs> just, yeah. Just face mother could love or? Face mother could love. Um, second. Um, I'll go second. I will be anchor. <laughs> All right. Good. So you're second. Theros will go third. And then Leaf in the back with you in front. Technically. 
So you, as you, you, uh, as Osric, as you, <laughs> Osric, as Osric grabs rope, <laughs> you, the bird, <laughs> hops on rope in front of Osric. Still into this on purpose. I know he did it on purpose. It's going to haunt this campaign no. until we're finished with it. <laughs> Every chapter. L20 of them. <laughs> you's going to solve a murder mystery next chapter for us. So, as. Uh, it was you the whole time. <laughs> As you all lift up uh, the rope, Kanasi lifts up the middle. Um, so. Please be a strength saving throw. God, I hope it's anything. I hope it's not. I, yeah, I hope it's not either. <laughs> I'm going to be come honest. On, you cheap. Come on, acrobatics. <laughs> oh, yeah. Acrobatics is definitely ideal. But if this is strength related, uh, I need it to be a saving throw. Could it be a performance check? <laughs> Can it be a deception check? Can yeah, I can it be one of those? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, you I'm pulling my fair share. Yeah, it's I like I act like I'm not really like it's like oh, I don't really want to play right now. You guys want to go get a snack? It's over there. They look over there. It's like ha ha! I just like pull it real quick. <laughs> say what? All right. <laughs> so you see, uh, there's there's uh, two lines where uh, it's almost like what what you need to get the middle of the, the rope to to cross over, but. As the four of you lift up and get ready, Gila looking right at you into your deep, beautiful halfling eyes. You want to get the corn dog after this? I can make something better than a corn dog. You'll cook for me? If we win. You'll cook for me if I win. I'll cook for you <laughs> if we win. Count Ass is that. Enough, the <laughs> two of you. Get ready. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to just a little so weird it out. <laughs> uh, Leaf, I need you to make me a uh, perception check. <laughs> I'm just trying to barter us into a win. I'll cook for some lady. Trust me, I will. <laughs> um, off onto the side of um. Let's see. This would be actually. <laughs> this would be off, kind of off one of the uh, the flagpoles or, or, or pennants off of one of the carts near the Wagon of Sweets, which is, you know, pretty much in view from where you're at here at the wrestling field. Leaf, you see a red crown hawk. Bird. Bird again. Again. Um, you said, what was your check one more time? 16? 16. And once again, you get the feeling that you are being watched. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Everybody get down. <laughs> like, drop down. Huh? What? Huh? Leave? What's going on? It's gonna explode. It's gonna explode. <laughs> what, what? Listen. Hold on. Listen, I know my pants are a little tight, but calm down. You ain't gotta be rude like that. Leave. Come on. We're about to start. <laughs> As you get up. <laughs> As, as you get up, uh, Leaf, it's gone. Oh my god. So, here's bird the way it's explode. going to go. Bird, here's the way it's explode. going to go. It will be... Don't bird explode? Bird, don't. <laughs> Has he been like this all day? Uh, no. Try past 15. 15 minutes. And I'm like stroking my beard, three, but Leaf is like... A... Two... <laughs> One. <laughs> I need <laughs> athletics checks. Oh no! Yay. That's a good. I don't gain anything out of this zero. stupidly heavy pack they loaded me with, do I? Um, <laughs> give me something. But for right now, straight athletics check. Alright. <laughs> Nothing that'll Nothing help me out on this. Help you guys. Okay. Uh. Oh, good. Six. Oh, nice. Eleven. Nice. Sleep. Got a fourteen. Yeah. Represent. <laughs> Represent Sunshine Game. I know how um, to, I know how to work leverage. Just so everyone knows, Leaf did the best. Oh my god. Oh, no. Out of our Yay. team. <laughs> I have the strongest. Oh my god. <laughs> He's got panic panicked person strength. He's got that <laughs> frenzy. Yeah. He's got my adrenaline. Get that dump. 
Listen, I said I'm cooked for her. We are. Wow. Um, I will. I won't lie. They, they got close there for a minute, but um, whether it be you were off guard or something, um, they tug, and all of you move forward. Leaf, you weren't even fully grabbing the rope yet before they started the pool. Um, so, here's what we go. Uh, here's what we do. Osric. Uh-huh. Athletics check. Should I roll for Leaf? Or should I roll for you? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> should he roll for you? <laughs> <laughs> you! Pull your weight, man! Hell! You just grab it onto the rope. Yeah! <laughs> Red little bunny flap! You can do it! 14. 14? Okay. You, you better be helping, you bird! You. No, sorry, not you. <laughs> Osprey. <laughs> you, Osprey. You yes. Are, um, yes, me, the bird. Okay. Now off balance. Oh, great. But. Because of all the weight that was put on you, <laughs> you maintain your balance. Nice. So next round, we will still roll straight. Oh, nice. Not with this advantage. Next up was you. No, sorry, not you. Natalia. <laughs> hey, I'm coming. You ain't rolling. Against a uh, human male. What'd you get? This one we gotta Nine. Get. We got to get you dice, girl. Are you... It's my dice tray, Roll again. man. Roll again. Roll again. We tied? Yeah. Oh, no. Love <laughs> Ooh. Eight. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're sticking the slide. You are now off balance the next time you have disadvantage on this. It won't matter. I think you'll roll. <sighs> you'll roll two 20s. A miracle is going to happen. I believe in you. Now time for Theros. Theros, pull your weight. 22. Theros pulling weight, thank God. And thank for the Durgle, the human man. And 11. Hey! So, um, <laughs> Theros, uh, staying strong, Leaf! Hello. Time for an athletics check. Athletics check. Ah, that was almost a 15. That was a 7. 7. Through the Leaf strength. Well, Gruber, <laughs> the fatty, has, uh, he seems pretty good with this, <laughs> but I need to roll, I need you to roll again. <gasps> He's got a grip. Wow. <laughs> wow. He's too busy at being hungry, dude. 13. I need you to roll again. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we're fighting to the death. <laughs> Do it! I got a six. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is a 20 now. <laughs> <laughs> One hand. Hey, bud, I need you to do it again. <laughs> oh, man. So, who is off balance in this one? Me. <laughs> you. You. No, I'm not leave. off balance. I'm balanced because of my counterweight. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. that's right. That's right. So, only <laughs> Naftalia <laughs> and Leaf. Don't be sick back. Then. All right. Which means there are two on the other side that are off balance. So, we start again from the top. Gila versus Ostrich. Go. Come on, Ostrich. I roll a one. Lucky. No, 11. There we go. <laughs> I literally just dropped it in. <laughs> Ostrich. Mm. An 11. Yeah, an 11. There's no strength for Zelda on when Gila you is now unbalanced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is unbalanced. Yep. Yeah, at least I have seven. to cook your dinner. Um, five. Five? Nope. <sighs> roll again. I roll again with disadvantage, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Eighteen. Oh, my goodness. Neftalia, you regain your balance. I would have had a natural 20, but that's okay. I can live with that. Yeah, it ain't so bad. You put uh, Fardrin, is his name, off balance, moving on to Durgle, 
versus Theros. Theros with a natural 20. Yeah, suck it. Uh, suck it, dude. Behind and barges. a literally a 19. Yeah. Uh, okay. Wow. The real the real competition is happening in the third row right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but now for the real fun. The guy, the people who are built for that. Yeah. Leaf, I need you to roll a disadvantage. You got a three. You got a three. Like a, like a total? I have my, my total. Yeah, I have a plus zero and I rolled a three. Oh. You, the two beefy <laughs> boys are like the weakest people in the party. So it's like. We're we're sitting over here being like, where are these pluses? Where'd they go? <laughs> Where's that plus eleven to athletic? Oh wait a minute, that's a different character. All right, <laughs> back to the front, Leaf. Whole new world. You hear Theros calls back to you. You're still off balance, uh, but Theros calls back out. Come on, Leaf. We need a uh, anchor. <laughs> hey, well, oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, we're playing a game. That's right. <laughs> Back to the front. Gila versus Ostrich. Gila off balanced. Ostrich straight roll. What'd you get? Eighteen. Eighteen. Gila. Oh, oh. she looks to you. I said I'd cook if I want, and I promise. And you hear you hear behind Padre go. Gila, get up. <laughs> and you hear Gila says, "I'm falling." In love. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Um, Fadrin versus. What's uh, it, it with my Natalia. characters like the weird ones? And uh, you were um, a, no. You I won. Was an 18? You won. Yeah, yes, that's right. Won. So he's got the disadvantage. Go ahead. Sixteen. Hey, Hila! No, <laughs> get up! <laughs> he falls down. Hila, too. Hila's the anchor. She's you see, the these front. two are basically trying to like skate on the ground right now to stand back up. Uh, behind Durgle versus uh, Theros. <laughs> Theros, ooh. Oh my god. All right. So, Theros rolled a two, uh -huh. which gives him a six. Okay. okay. But our disadvantage guy rolled a 16, which would have given him a, uh, a 19. And then he rolled a natural one. Yeah, let's hey. go. Third line, hey. hold the battle. Coming down to Gruber versus Leaf. Oh god. Leaf. Come on, Leaf. Disadvantage. I'm disadvantaged. I got I got two threes. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you hear that? He got 23. <laughs> Leaf, as uh you are just it's it's not working out well. Um but you can just barely hear up in the front. As you, with all of his might, <laughs> all of you's might, <laughs> all, all of your might, traveler, turns around, faces you, Ostrich, <laughs> grabs the rope, and just <laughs> fluttering his wings faster than a hummingbird. God, <laughs> he takes out this you. Um, and then you begin to feel your rope start to shift your way, and you look forward as Hila, now just holding onto the rope and being dragged towards Ostrich, she stops tugging and starts pulling on it to get closer. <laughs> yeah. To, uh, oh, God, she's not helping. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>! says, <laughs> we lost Hila! We lost Hila! <laughs> <laughs> Durkle says, every time! <laughs> Gruber says, I'm hungry. <laughs> and he lets go of the rope. Ah! <laughs> he just gave up. He's like, I want some need now. This ain't a joke. Leaf, your feet land in the ground. And the far to the uh, the opposing team, the townies, all foosh and pile on top of each other. You guys win. Yes. The troop, 30 gold. Redemption. So we win. What do you mean redemption? <laughs> this is just an, an additional win to me. Uh, you hear a whole bunch of townies around who are watching uh, this play out. Just they're all like, "Oh, I bet ten goes on that," and they're not happy. But you hear like one person, "Wow, <laughs> ah, <laughs> no, my arch rival, he's here." <laughs> ah. My heart rival. My heart rival is seventy-year-old child. Walking up to you as you are uh, recovering from the uh, the the tug of war. Smedley, the little boy you saved from the bear attack outside of the carnival. Mm. Unwillingly saved. Let me get his character portrait for you. Oh mm. God! Why do you get to do this? I already thing? see it. 
and its glory. <laughs> and, all its glory. and all its glory. And all, and all, dual, and all it's a different kind of glory. gooey. <laughs> right. he, he got a gooey reward in his nose right there. <laughs> um, but as he walks up, you guys are so strong. Uh, oh, God. Um, <laughs> he walks up to you, Naftalia. Looks up to you. Two knuckles deep. What's your name? I'm going to kneel down so I'm at eye level with him. My name's Natalia. What's yours again? Smedley. Smedley. My mom says I'm pretty strong too. Oh, are you? Yeah. Our wrestling match? Sure. And I'll, just, I'll go for it. <laughs> Oh just, yeah, just uh, it, it definitely what he I definitely he got to a point where it was woods. just starting down. Yeah, yeah so okay. uh, good good grass there. Yeah. <laughs> Athletic <laughs> seven. Smedley rolled a natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Smedley, <laughs> Smedley, <laughs> Smedley goes. No, 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 no. <laughs> I like the idea that Smedley is like, okay, and one, two, three. <laughs> wait. What? <laughs> oh. But oh, wait a I minute. I assume you would let Smedley. Yes. Oh, so. Hold on, what? <laughs> oh, God. Has, has, no. Letting him just wait. He goes, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And he takes you down. Oh, my God. Wow. I gotta go tell Bob. I'll come back. Okay. And he just runs off. <laughs> oh god, I got one that's even better. <laughs> Alright, on three. One, As two, you watch this happen, <gasps> three. You hear. Hey. Hey. You were very strong back there. We'll call it strong. Yes. Would you maybe go on a date with me? Uh, I'll be leaving town soon so I can cook some for you. Um, maybe we go into town. I know a place where we could be alone. I mean, you know I'm not allowed in town. They kind of drive me out with pitchforks and torches. She looks to you. I'll cook for you, though, like I said. He does not look like normal... Shizet, I want to take you into town. Not a good idea. Theros will step in. Yeah, yeah they're on duty today. Um, and I'm am too, so don't get any ideas. But um, yeah, they, they've, they've got to do the rounds. They're really busy. Um, but maybe, and he looks to you. Maybe. <laughs> um, maybe later tonight. Yeah, I, I can cook some later. Um, tonight. there's an old oak tree on the northern side of. Head there. Osric? You'll meet her there. Okay. See you later then. And she walks off. Um, Gruber just heads out the other way. He's he's gonna he's off to bribe <laughs> Gru- <Robert's laughs> Nessie's Nuss- Nuss- place. Um <laughs> Gruber's been gone. <laughs> he's and uh, the dwarf went back and apologized to some of his friends. That put a little bit, maybe too much money on them. Um, but uh, Theros comes up to me after uh, Hila walks away. I don't even know if there's an oak tree over there, but Theros, I don't care. Yeah, I don't even like people. Like You're I don't welcome. understand. You're but welcome. Anyways, good job. Um, you, Count Nassi, uh, uh, you fresh from uh, her you... own victory of tackling that guy earlier before you guys did your uh, uh, your tug of war. Uh, she walks over and just kind of chuckles at the locals as they're walking back after getting up off the dirty ground, being tumbled over by your uh, somehow uh, overpowering of them. Yeah. She lightly, for her, punches you in the arm, Naftalia. And praises your accomplishment as she congratulates you all. We have the makings of some future strong folk here. 
glad you showed uh, that we're always a force to be reckoned with. Um, Borag walks up right behind her, beaming a really large smile. I'm going to take like <laughs> half a step back, so I don't get punched again. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> now, uh, good, uh, go okay. put those muscles of yours to use. Uh, get back on duty and help where needed. And keep all these townies out of trouble. <laughs> kind of asking him, share a look, just proud of you guys as they begin to walk back. Come on, Theros. All right, I'm going to go back uh, and help them out, but it was fun to see you all. Thank you. I want to hear more stories later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, around 10 fire tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I, I got a cookie, son, man. Like, I can't just let them, like, I'll let you look through the book, okay? You, you know what I up. like? Protein. <laughs> it just walks away. <laughs> <laughs> Before I get the barbarian. Yeah, um, I, I just look at theirs and go, every time, man, come on. Like, they can't be a different joke. I like cheese, too. Cheese, right there. Come work with cheese. I'm going to take my bow from Osric's pack. He and forgot like, his eggs. Wipe the egg yolk off the bottom limb and string it and put it on my back. Yeah, definitely done for. <laughs> you flies up to you. Uh, you every time. You flies <laughs> up to leaf. You flies up to you. I you mean, did this to me. I mean, no, you, you did this. No, wait. <laughs> I can't anymore. <laughs> I just can't do it. I quit. <laughs> I robbed you of a word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The main word. That's really mean to rob your bird. Bird is the word. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. All right. So, with that, um, the wrestling field goes back to its uh, normal scheduling. People signing up to Take on some of the shizats. You see Theros and Kanashi get ready to go in. Even Borag. And uh, their daughter as well, uh, Kasarin. Who, let me show. I just feel so sorry for Kanashi because she definitely birthed oh. children with muscles in infancy. Like they came um, out ripped. Right. Kasarin waves over to you all. And you just barely hear. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> As uh, they take on the townies for the day. But um, with that, where, uh, Zatis, do you go next? Uh, I think we should hit up the tent of ales next. If we're just kind of hanging on right now. Um, yeah. Yeah, so tent of ales. Okay. Do it. The real tent. I was thinking from Jeff, uh, from Vale's field. Um, as you are heading that way, perception check, yeah. Neftalia. Perception check, Neftalia? Yeah. I'll let you all do a perception check. Oh my gosh, I can't roll stats worth. You rolled good in stat creation. That's where all your luck went. Yeah. Okay. Um, Eight. Seven. Leaf. 19. A what? 19. Wow. I am receptive. As you guys are walking towards the Tent of Veils, um, it's just something just barely, you barely catch it in your peripheral vision, uh, Leaf. But there is an odd shaped, smooth looking stone. Fuck! <laughs> it's kind of perfect for him. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> it's it's placed over by kind of like the backside of the tent of veils as you're walking up and around. Um, Leaf quickly just goes up for it. Um, so, so you, so people do people actually not shower? That way, they place you haven't showered in a week. Like, do people not do that? I know, like we only we don't get a shower very often, but like Jesus, oh. like Jesus. <laughs> so as you find this, this rock is used. As you, <laughs> as you find this. Um, on one side of this stone, there seems to be kind of like a black circle in the middle with these red lines that branch off of the sides. And as you pick it up on the other side, it, there's a message. It says, the dark sun is rising. She shall eclipse Sulion 
with her face and cover Zayathe in shadow. What? And a hand out for you all. Yes. This is extremely out of the ordinary. You've never seen this before. Um, he like leaves the top. He's getting all like the crazy visions and messages. I'm kind of worried. That one was all. I know. Perception. It's just like, like it's just like bumming down to luck. It's like leaf is leaf is a prophet. It was, it was like, funny it's that the one creepy. that was looking for the smooth stones earlier found the smooth stone yes. on the board. Exactly. I would be looking for these. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it makes total sense. It just. But, I'll present um, it to the group. Yeah. Leaf comes back and shows you all this weird smooth stone, which is probably about maybe this big. Nothing, nothing crazy. What do you do? What does it say? I found a used rock. What do you mean by used? What does that even mean? Used rock. Yeah, yeah like, they wrote some... <laughs> Has some very ominous words on it. Ominous in general or ominous for you? Sorry, for you as Leaf. I would, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of a Zaya Fey problem. It's a uh, ominous in general? Okay, okay. What do we do? Ooh, that is ominous. Uh, I think they mind uh, if I keep it. I mean, this is on the ground. If they wanted it, it wouldn't be over there. I mean, if I, it would not keep it. And then it's, if it didn't want to be found, it wouldn't have been where you found it. That's true. If it didn't want to be found, I would never have found it. Exactly. You got it. You get it. You get this. Rock should try to hide better. Exactly. <laughs> All right. It rolled poorly. Does it look like it's been painted? Or is this back like, I don't know why this would matter, but is it like etched and then colored or does it seem to be just like painted on the surface? It seems to be superficial. Okay. So okay. not carved in. But before you um, can keep on examining it, uh, going from the south end, uh, in the way that you're going, the direction that you're going, you see a dwarf. Um, a severely inebriated dwarf. Do you have an eye patch? With an eye patch? I thought was it was, we were looking for a human man. Oh, was that a human? Or was that a it, it, he's like pirate man. He's got the mustache. Too. Every time I say you see someone, eye patch, eye patch, eye patch, <laughs> mustache, <laughs> pirate. Is he a pirate with a mustache? <laughs> but, 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 Does he but, have a hook? There's a pirate he peg like Pete? Before you, a severely <laughs> inebriated dwarf stumbles about. Uh, as he nears your location, he stops suddenly in his tracks, and after briefly swaying about, he vomits into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. You watch nearby townies move away uh, from him, disgusted. You hear this one townie say, oh my god. <laughs> Keep on moving. Looks familiar. Smedley's mother. Oh my god. <laughs> Looking for Smedley. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh -oh. Um, uh -oh. Um, the nearby townies yeah, stay away and give him a wide berth. What do you guys do? I'll look um, up to him. Um, as he looks up to you, um, no, I don't have a quality. Um, no, we're unable to help me. <laughs> Through his drunken speech, you can make out an apology. It's all right. We see it all the time. Can I get you some water? Oh. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. <clears throat> Hold on. Is there like a medic tent here? You want, you want some water? There's not, but um, you guys would have some water on, like, on you. Okay. Uh, I'll just, I, I'm sure I've got mine on me. Yeah. So I'll offer him. Um, yeah, I'll just offer him some water. All right. Uh, before you do that, perception check, all of you. Come on. All these perception checks. I feel like we're supposed to see something. 19! Okay. Four. All right. Leave. Please. 13. Okay. I'm too busy about this dude's vomiting. As you're about to hand him your good waste of water skin, um, you notice uh, some strange looking greenish pimples on the dwarf's uh, chest. Um, kind of inside his stained uh, half 
on Strong Shirt. I'm gonna pull back the water skin? Mm hmm. I'm so sorry. Are you sick? It's very drunk. <laughs> Too much. Maybe. Can I tell if he's actually had anything to drink? Oh, you can smell it. That palate picks up. Is it, stuff. is it the bad liquor I had earlier strong? Or is it just he's been having a good day? Um, it's not the stuff from earlier. Um, but you can smell it's like a, a deep whiskey, something a dark whiskey. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was like, ah, this is it. But not the not the jug. If gasoline was inside Zyathe, it'd be gasoline. Not the gasoline that you uh, encountered earlier. <laughs> um, Osric, do you have like a cup or a bowl on you that you're willing to part with? Part with? Uh, good thing you mentioned that. Um, yeah, there's this shabby bowl I've been trying to get rid of. Oh, you asking me if I'm a sickie? I'm going to just give, pour some water in the bowl and just hand him the bowl. As he drinks it, like, it trails off the side and mm -hmm. drinks it quick. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Steps at his puke and he keeps on moving past the guys. Mm. <laughs> yeah. well, good thing I didn't want the bullet. What do you I, do now? <laughs> I'm gonna just clean up the vomit off the ground and be like, press to digitate that away. That's nasty. Now it's clean vomit. Exactly. <laughs> now it's clean. That's clean vomit. Kind of just mull it over. And just, uh, <laughs> so. I didn't soil it, so there's that. As you move it has, forward. It has been unsoiled. <laughs> Bite it on fire. I could flavor it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I <it> taste that. <laughs> As you move forward towards the Penta Vales. <laughs> Sorry. I just My go, goodness. I just looked down. It was like flavor. My goodness. It's already got a flavor. Yeah, I know. I was just like, I can flavor it, though. <laughs> no, it's getting a flavor. Now it's, now it's good for seconds. <laughs> Thirds, technically, right? Uh, oh. First, <laughs> seconds, third. Oh, I'll say third. Yeah, back here. Yeah, boomerang. <laughs> New handout. <laughs> New handout, okay? Oh, I can flavor it. Uh, I was gosh. just reading through. I was like, does it Gross. say anything about like getting rid of it? And then I was like, flavor. Gross. Could flavor warm or chill? Oh my lord. Okay. Moving. <laughs> <coughs> so, as you move forward, um, the uh, law. <laughs> Got your words. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, the large, colorful tent that is the Tent of Veils is about 40 feet in diameter and shimmers almost as if it was made out of a thousand gossamer scarves. A bright pennant on the top of the tent pole flits in the light breeze. Townsfolk are already entering to watch the next performance. Standing just outside, the open tent entrance is Mavia. Oh. <laughs> so bad. The spell dancer lady. So. Oh, she's cute. She has a very hypnotic top. I like, very her. I like her hair. Hypnotic. Cool. Yeah. I like your hair. Um, so standing outside of the tent entrance is Mavia, uh, resplendent in her traditional Hanatan spell dancer's costume. Her red hair shines in the afternoon light as she smiles at you and waves you over. As you walk over, she looks just... It's like she's getting... Uh, People are coming up for an upcoming show or something inside the Tent of Veils. But uh, as you guys walk up, she just... Satis! Gives, uh, gives you all a hug. How are we doing today? Good? Good so far. Good. Uh -huh. um, you know, tonight's Dark Tides Eve, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so they'll be putting out lanterns around Soul Set. I don't know about you, but honestly, I'm a little scared. Um, I heard uh, Brian talking with mother he said something about a prophecy and the year of fears and something that we weren't ready for it i don't know what do you think it means 
I've been waiting for you to come Dark around. Sun today. rising. She'll cover the world in darkness. <laughs> Please, oh my God. you're not Do you making just start this screaming better. So what do you think? <laughs> She'll cover the world in darkness. Um, darkness. <laughs> Rock told me. He's been, she, the past half hour now, you'd say? Half hour? I saw it's a bird been a little and the wild camp exploded. Him. It's it's been a little wild with him lately. And then I saw a bird again, and then I found a rock. Is someone bullying him? No, no. it's this has been the th past thirty minutes. I don't know what it is this time around. I I can't figure it out. I'll figure it out come campfire time. But that's about it. You hear from behind you? Have you seen her yet? <laughs> and um, <coughs> God, do you see that same man from before? <laughs> this dude, come on. He's over there. And I'm going to like hide behind Neffy. <laughs> I take that as a no. You no. Uh, and he just keeps on going. Like he just disappears as quick as he appears. <laughs> what the heck? And back over to Mavia. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> right. Uh, um. Anyways, I've got to. Uh... Listen, don't worry. You've got nothing to fear. What is out there that we can't have? Maybe not we uh, specifically, <laughs> but we as common dogs can't handle. I, don't know I like our odds better as the group. I've heard some of the other troops running into some trouble. Yeah, but but it's us. Like what kind of trouble though? Something about an assassination. There was an assassination attempt. Oh, we've you already we've already too. stopped a couple of those, right? No, no, just one. Okay. Sorry, just one. Well, it sounds like uh, Borag picked the right group of friends uh, to be the artists today. You look a little roughed up, but... And you look gorgeous as always. Just kind of looks at you all for a minute. You can see inside um, the, the tent, it's about half full. In the center, there being kind of a, a rising stage. Um, this is definitely the, the spell dancer's tent, essentially. As uh, you are talking... And he comes up behind. Uh, excuse me, are you all in line or just talking? And Mavia oh. <laughs> looks at you and does like the wide eye, like, you and I have been dealing with all day? <laughs> <laughs> Give you token, sir. Token. Thank you. Take a seat anywhere you'd like. <laughs> Last day, always fun. Mm -hmm. Always fun. I don't understand people like that. It's not like the two of these, these two take up any kind of room. I know. Anyways, good luck. I need to attend to, oh, there's a crowd coming. Great. I need to attend to them. All right. I want to hear some fun stories around Ten Fire tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Don't worry, Mavia. You got this. <clears throat> you got this. So as you guys uh, turn around. There's another drop. Continue your adventure. What is coming? Oh. <laughs> oh, I ain't too worried. You, um, Trumpin. notice as you turn around a Enormous, seven foot tall man with crooked, oversized teeth wading through the grounds. He has two large metal rods with chunks of meat spitted on them slung across his shoulder. And a crude cleaver in the other hand. So as he uh, meanders around, you hear him shout, pig, good pig, tasty pig, one seal for a rib, five for a rack. And this is who you see. No eye patch. Ah, no eye he patch. is the also a very. He needs one. <laughs> he, what he needs is a dentist, dude. Like, goodness gracious. He needs a lot um, of things. As you guys are kind of walking about to continue your rounds, 
he obviously stands out, stands above the crowd, really. And you hear a couple of uh, townies walk by you, and you hear one gentleman of kind of a... He's, he's dressed decent, you know? Maybe he's a little bit higher up in the uh, side of Nevermore, but as he walks by, he says, one of those shiner thugs. He keeps on walking by. You just barely hear that. Um, and I need a uh, perception check from all of you. He's really selling me on my property. Homework question. 13. Okay. A whole nine. Nine mm-hmm. and Leaf. 14. 14. Leaf. As you all hear one of those shiner thugs, that man walks away. You can hear a woman just off on the side. He came down from the butcher farm with one of those slabs of meat. Some say folks go up there and never come back. Yep. They still got hogs up there, but all I know is I wouldn't trust that. I, I wasn't mowing on someone I, I knew. So, Leaf, uh, the two of you just kind of looking at this enormous man walking through. Uh, what do you guys do? This man's trying to sell food in my house. Oh, this, this, this ain't happening. This, Why don't you thing. go up and tell him, Osric? Yeah, Osric's actually walking up there. As he's muttering oh, to himself. No. He's like, this man has solid food in my house. Osric, what do you do? There ain't no hustler. Excuse me, sir. And I'll like pull on like his trouser like he down by his right knee. over you. Hey, then... down here, bud. <laughs> uh, you got a license for that? Is that up to code? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. When was that last cooked? And what temperature is it currently at? And Osric is like, a thermometer. It's put on a little <laughs> book about like wellness of meat and where to maintain it. He's like, I can I see your license to sell. Uh, you want pig? Where's your license, bud? You can't sell without a permit here. Oh, oh. he's a deception check. Uh, Twelve. <laughs> Oh. Starting crap from the weirdest ways. <laughs> I don't need no stinking permit. <laughs> yeah, you do. You want pig? Tasty pig. Hey, you do if you need to sell around here, bud. Don't you know it's illegal never more to have uh, a business without a license? You gotta pay your tax. You pay taxes. <laughs> Roll me a uh, intimidation check. <laughs> Oh, five. I'll take that as a no, you don't pay taxes. Do you know that's how they got that uh, Crook Capone? You know, they got it because he didn't pay his taxes. Shut up. Uh, what are you going to do about it? He pushes past you with his leg. Hey! And I, like, kick him in the ankle. I'm going, I'm going. That's right, you better leave. Get out of here. I'm just gonna walk back. Wow! <laughs> I tried to tell my mom how strong you guys are, and you're really powerful too. Yeah, mom said one day I might be able to be a knight. I'm just training, you know. You gotta do those push-ups, Smedley. Yeah. That's. Anyways, where are you guys where, where are you guys going? Have you found your mother yet? She was looking for you. Yeah, I went up and I told her that I, I beat one of one of one of one of one of the heroes and she was like, What are you doing? And then I ran away. <laughs> She's looking for me. Maybe you shouldn't wander off from your mother. That's it's fine. Do you know what and- happens to kids that wander away from their mom here? They don't ever see their mom. How do you think I ended up here? I'm a little boy trapped in this body. They go on adventures? Oh, man, I'm sticking around. I'm cursed. (sighs) Help me. (laughs) He walks up up to you and I'm telling you. (laughs) She doesn't care about anything I say. It's like, yeah, whatever. Do you guys have scones? Do we have scones? An ostrich. The Yes, we have scones. The mental battle in his head right now. Do I give this guy one of the best scones I've ever made, or do I tell him no so he'll leave me alone? 
<laughs> cooking annoyance. Cooking annoyance. I don't know. Cooking woods. <laughs> Here, have a scoon. <laughs> I'll press the digitate his hand before I even give it to him. Though, just clean. He puts it in the booger hand. Thanks. <laughs> I'll come back oh, and see you guys later. Hands. Bye, Smedley. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, Austin, like, smokes pouring out his ears. And it's, it's like, I can't win with that kid. <laughs> I'm getting outsmarted by a child. This is not... <laughs> he's not having it. He's like, it's so gross. All right. There are no down a scum. I hate that kid so much. He's like his mom's age. <sighs> Where to next? Do we cut back up go. to the tent of Jess? Puppet show. Puppet show. We go. What? Oh, puppet show. That's we not. We go what. to the puppet show. I heard show. Mr. Cho. Oh. And I was like, "Who's Mr. Cho? Where's that on the map?" Going to Mr. Cho at the puppet show. Mr. Cho, the puppet show. <laughs> Scheduled weekly Wednesdays, five p.m. Okay. Cold toes. So, as you guys are walking over towards the puppet show, <clears throat> you hear um, some commotion. And <clears throat> you see a, a trio of people. Two knights. And a religious looking figure. As they walk your direction, the religious figure, a woman, approaches you all. <clears throat> Are you the shizat folk that put on this horrid festival? Oh, so this is You will shut down player. this cavalcade of wickedness and debauchery immediately and depart this place. At once, your corrupting influence on these honest folk will not be tolerated. What do you do? You are seriously overestimating the level of power we have here. Dismantle it. And uh, you see the two knights start to walk over. One begins to walk over to the tall tent, which you guys are kind of near. And one begins to head over to the puppet show tent where you know all the youngsters are, your youth of this place. Hey, I'm go. going you straight need to, to the puppet you need show. To cool down. I'm going to cast Prejudice Digitation on her socks and make them cold. I press to digitate. All right. And I soil them. As you do that, you, she looks down. Hey, Constable Rolf gave us another day. This is our last day, all right? We're leaving today. She ignores you completely. No Natalia, which one are you going guy. for? Puppet show. Puppet show. You kind of kind of brush past her. She shouts out, You cannot stop it, she's at tear it down. And what do you do? Um, so I okay. The puppet show on the map. Let's see. He's walking up to it right now. Is this now. a wagon? It's a yeah, it's a stage, I believe. Hold I'm on. gonna let me, run. Let, me, let, me, let me make sure. Let me make sure. Hey kids. Huh? Huh? It's more like a booth. Okay. Um, I'm gonna if I can, I wanna run in front of him and cut him off. Okay. Uh quickly, because he he's just walking briskly. You running will definitely get there. You run up in front of him. Move out of my way. And he goes to grab your shoulder and move you. I want to, like, step backwards. Okay. Uh-uh. I won't ask again. He reaches for the blade of his... Uh... Listen, we don't need to resort to that kind of violence. There are children. Do you really want to... Is this what we're doing? Are you going to be hurting children? Is that with your religious code? and Push whatnot? her to the side and dismantle it. Move. And he goes up to push you out again. Then I, I... Yeah, Leaf, yeah. Step in if you want to. The other one's going for the other the, the tall tent. That's a major I attraction. Guess, I guess I'd go for that one. I'd go for the one that if they, Ostrich? You, you want to keep on arguing with uh, this this <laughs> war dame lady? I ain't dealing with a stupid lady. She ain't got nothing between her ears. Uh 
seeing um, Nephi's kind of, this dude just isn't relenting. How far is he from me? Is he within 30 feet? Well, yeah. Uh, if he's in 30 feet, I'm going to cast a uh, charm person on him. We're just going to flick it at him. Be like, He's going to do that thing. <laughs> uh, wisdom 13. All right. Hold on. I'm Wisdom 13. Yeah, okay. gotcha. Leaf, what are you doing to the tall tent one? I was going to run up to him and be like, there you are. And I was going to cast Charm Person on him, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to cast Charm Person two on minds, him. Two minds. Think alike. Let's go, baby. <laughs> so I would do. <laughs> we solve problems we by talking spells, it out. We use it. Yeah. <laughs> we we solve our we problems roll. by talking here. We don't do yeah, nothing. We're friends. <laughs> yeah. I wish I chose friends. That would be a great cantrip. <laughs> I do have that, but it's only a minute, and I feel like this is gonna take longer than a minute. And it gets a little hostile after the minute. Yeah, I feel like they make it worse. <laughs> <laughs> now they're gonna set the tall tin on fire, fulfilling your prophecy. Leave. <laughs> no, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> the bird's back. By my hand, I will finish this camp. <laughs> As all right, so Osric, you cast uh, saving throw of thirteen, wisdom thirteen, wisdom thirteen for charm person on the person in front of Nephi. Okay, that is a seventeen. All right, well, and for uh, the one taking on the tall tent, it's a thirteen as well. I got a fourteen. 14. Ooh. Yeah, he's starting a yeah. lot higher than I am. Um, That one, yeah, that is just a 14. Just barely. <laughs> no! Man. I'm sorry, our, guys. Our abilities have failed us. As um, <laughs> But, so, you guys do that. They are unaffected. And they're about to close in on your, on your people's stuff. What do you do? Are there currently... Uh, are there currently children? That's, that's sleep! <laughs> sleep. <laughs> All right. All right. Sleep. Hopefully he doesn't have a hopefully he doesn't have a lot of health. That's not a lot of good numbers. Uh it's a 22. He remains awake. Jeez. Ah, he's a buff. What the heck? Uh it was close though. Uh, All right, um, bud. Last chance. I'm gonna kick him in the shin. I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can aid leaf since she can handle herself okay. <laughs> in a fight. <laughs> All right. So real quick, you first. Um, I'm gonna just, oh God, uh, I'm gonna turn around, um, and face the puppet show. Uh huh. Yunstas to Borag now. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Yunstas unite, and it's just gonna be like a Voltron moment. <laughs> <laughs> that's I not, honestly, children. I, honestly, that's what I thought you were gonna do. I thought you were like Yunstas attack. <laughs> it's just ah! so um, just so I can go ahead and show you, you you call out to them. Your voice might not have carried the as much as you wanted to, but he is heading that way. What do you do? Um. Well. Yeah, I'm going to pull out my sword and my dagger. Okay. Meanwhile, our uh, Rag leaf Rag and uh, leaf roll, roll to hit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Uh, unarmed strike. This is a six. <laughs> What was it to hit? Six. <laughs> you you hit his armored plate and it hurts your toe. You <laughs> just like tink. Ah <laughs> Ostrich, what do you do? Uh he does the guy have leather pants on? No. He is fully plated. Fully plated. Has he got a belt? That's would be a good time for a heat metal. <laughs> he doesn't have yeah. like a belt on for his <laughs> wow all right like there's some like leather clasp or anything but like he doesn't have like a, a belt on the outside of his uh yeah. armor i thought to ask i'm like going from straight like, up knight excuse me sir 
Can I have an autograph? Like, really cool. And, like, my daddy said I could be a knight just like you. He pulls out a long sword and, and just, to start to cut it's the, not going. The, the tall tent. All right. Well, that's it. He's getting, he's getting, he's getting a frying pan to the knee. Roll to hit. Like, I'm just, <laughs> I'm trying to be nice and it's not going my way. <laughs> 22. <laughs> Oh, that'll oh, hit. Yeah. It was almost a crit. <laughs> I almost critted this dude's knee. Be gone, Fox! Oh, he's not paying, paying attention to you. Two points of damage. So, uh, he's not paying attention to you when you pull out your blades. Do you want to attack him or do you want to call out and intimidate him? Up to you. <laughs> mm. Two points of damage. I'm going to try to get him to stop, so I'll call out to him. Okay. Roll me. Uh, what do you say? Please. Of all places. This is not a good one. Intimidation check. That's the right idea. It always works 19. if you go for the knees. He stops. Pulls out the long sword. I do what I must, Shizette. But if you want to stop me, you can try. <laughs> Then I'm gonna try. I need everyone to roll initiative. <laughs> I got that guy right. That, the knees are the only place I get hit. Like anything <sighs> below the waist is where it kind of just, I can naturally aim, you know? Yeah. I'm a little <laughs> short to be reaching for their chin. <laughs> what are the exact cards I have again? Oh, wow. You have um, advantage on an attack roll and an extra attack. Card. So oh, I, they were pictures. They were sent to them yeah. with the. I was I about need, to read them out. Uh, condition from you. Twenty-one. Wow. Yeah, thank you. Eighteen. Wow. No, nobody messes with the puppet show. And leaf. I got a six. Okay, I guess somebody messes with puppet show. <laughs> 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 I right, take that back. And leave. All right. So, with that, Natalia, he draws a sword and faces you. Townies seem to back up and clear out the area. Some shocks and shrieks. Um, what do you do? Um, just for appearances' sake, oh. I'm gonna use some of my movement to kind of circle him so that way my back is to the puppet show. Okay. So I'm obviously defending something. Pretty much use your movement. Easy. Okay. Um, just a quick clarification. Is a short sword and a dagger both piercing or is it just the dagger? Um, dagger is piercing. That's it. Okay. Uh, the sword is slashing. All right. So I'm going to swing with the iron short sword first. Okay. So lethal or non lethal? Non lethal. Sixteen. Huh? Oh, I thought it was slashing. I just pulled it up. Huh. I thought it did slashing. Wow. Because like rapier is piercing. I know long yeah. sword is uh, slashing. So. All right. Um, bonus action with the dagger in my offhand. Mm -hmm. Um, that's an eighteen. Eighteen will also miss. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, well, yeah, what have we done to ourselves? Yeah, these guys are tough. Oh, um, oh yeah, they're knights. Nice. So, uh, <laughs> Natalia, as you go to swing, you watch as the this this knight kind of deflects your moves. He's very talented, it seems. Um, and he just kind of pushes you back. Like, kind of gives you a little punch in the chest. Um, no damage or nothing, but it seems that he's not wanting to actually really hurt anyone either, but rather just stop the carnival. Um... Osric, your turn. You're at the other knight uh, that's trying to uh, dismantle the tall tent, like the center of Carnival. I'd sink down. I'd hit him in the first knee. I'm swinging for the hills in the second one. Go for it. Uh, lethal or non-lethal? Non-lethal. Uh, with a miss for 12. 12. <clears throat> he just kind of steps back and like kind of bats you on the back of the head with the pommel of his blade. Listen, man, like... You're a child. Enough. Child? First of all, <laughs> hold on. Um, How old do you think I am? <laughs> the one over by you. Is that your turn? Now? 
Yeah, that's it. Okay. He's just um, like, hold on now. The one by you, Natalia. Uh, he is going to roll to hit with a 20. Mm-hmm. Can I cast uh, summon? I really can I cast summon Hector? <laughs> um, that is uh, six. Um, I kind of need Hector right now. <laughs> the six slashing damage, but it's non-lethal. What he does is he uh, clashes swords with you, so it pushes yours off to the side, comes back, and bops you right in the head. The six um, damage to your temple, just just trying to knock you out. It seems non-lethal damage. Um, that is his turn, and then the other one by you, Ostrich, as he calls you a child, and you go to explain that you're not a child. That's an 18 to hit. <laughs> yeah, that hits. Um, with nine points, he bats you in the back of the head with a bomb. Um, and then it is the woman's uh, turn. The priest of Ordain. Oh, cleric of Ordain, sorry. Um, she will walk up to you, Leaf. And then we'll attempt to grapple you. Um, make me a an athletics check, please, or acrobatics. Uh, Seventeen. Wow, I rolled a sixteen. I'm s- <laughs> hey, I'm slippery. <laughs> uh, she walks up to, and she gets a hold of like kind of like the collar of your shirt for a moment before you just kind of like slip and pull out of it. Um, you flies up and flutters in front of her face for a brief moment to distract her. And as she kind of looks down, like she realizes she doesn't have you. Um, she calls out to her knights once more. Hurry up, take it down. And that is her turn. I really thought I'd get you. Um, Leaf, it's your turn. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, mentally command you to fly towards the wrestling field to try to get Desi. Try to get who? Uh, the Thero. Theron. Oh, Theros? Theron. Theron. Theros. Theros. Something. Uh, Borag's yeah. son? Yeah, I guess Borag okay. would probably be better. <laughs> he flies over. Who do you want to go get? Uh, Theros. Make it easy then. Okay. <laughs> so I'll say, wow, I'll Borag has 20s in every stat. That's he crazy. Flies over, uh, you flies over to go get uh, Theros, who uh, you just met or just saw back there at the wrestling field. Um, don't know how long it will take for him to get here. So that will start us um, telling Leaf to go do that, or telling you to go do that. Is that an action? It's a bonus action. Right. Okay. To command him, I think we talked about it. Okay, so bonus action. That's your bonus action. Anything else you want to do, Leaf? Uh, let's see. Wisdom. I'm going to... How how far away is the knight that uh, Nephi's fighting? Uh, from you, probably thirty feet. Uh, hideous laughter on that one. What's what's the the uh, save? Fourteen. The wisdom of fourteen. He just saves. Dude, ah, I'm sorry. Darn these guys rolling fourteens all the time. I, I won't lie. I, I will say most of that. It actually the rolls like they're actually pretty high. Um. <laughs> We're, they're on the opposite side of the pin. I'm having a chimaticus night. We're in trouble. <laughs> um, so top of the round, if that's your turn. Uh, yeah. That goes to I guess I would like. I guess I would try to. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, never mind. Nephi. I'm gonna try again. Gold sword. Nope. And dagger. Worse. So. That's all she wrote. That's 14. <laughs> he just deflects you so easily. Like, and, and even the hit that kind of lands, it just skates right off the armor. Like, you're you're trying your best, and it's just... Not enough. Yeah. Um, Ostrich. How far is the priestess from me? Oh, you can get to it. Is, is she... I'm a biter. I'm just going to take a shot. <laughs> I'm just biting her. What the hell? <laughs> It's gonna be more effective dirty. than uh yeah exactly. Uh, she's a little uh for seventeen. <laughs> I'm coming for a bite, just ah 
she will reach down and put her hand on your forehead, and you will not bite her. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! And she just kind of steps aside and pushes you. You kind of go past, you fall down, <laughs> get back up. They're they're treating you like children. Well, Night number one yours. with you. Um, that is a fourteen. No. You are able to deflect him from uh, more like a dodge. Um, he goes to punch you straight in the face, <laughs> and you just back up from that. Night number two, uh, over with you. Yeah. Uh, Leaf actually is closest to him now. Um, he's going to just like, kind of kick you in the face, Leaf. Oh straight God. up kick you in the face. Fourteen. <laughs> That's super rude. That's rude. That's my AC. That's your AC. Good God. I'm going to just kick you in the face. Wow. First of all, the disrespect. That's uh, three bludgeoning damage. <laughs> the utter disrespect in that state. And um, the cleric, now with you, yeah. is going to take the back of her mace. Yeah. The, the blunted end. And just <laughs> hit you right on the head. Yeah. And knock you out. Um, and that is a... That's a seventeen. <laughs> yeah, that hits. I miss my I miss my plate. <laughs> Whew. I miss it dearly. Seven bludgeoning, non-lethal. <laughs> <You're> out? <laughs> no, I'm at one. Thank you very Whoa! much. Thank you very much. <laughs> hits you. Enough. Hurry up. And ah. uh, Leaf, your turn. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not going hot. No, it's not. I don't. I can't fight him, so I do my last one. I'm gonna try to uh, try to hideous laughter him again. It's the only one I think I can work right now. Hideous right. laughter on the one that um, that just fucking the one that just kicked me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> the, the one that had the disrespect. Oh, eleven. Hey. Yes. He's laughing. So now, as <laughs> after he kicked you in the face, he just goes. <laughs> Just starts laughing at you getting kicked in the face now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, but, glad uh, this, I'm glad this boot is so funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, you do see uh, little you start to return. And uh, top of the round, Nephi. I'm going to try to hit him again. Because we, we are like failing miserably. Thank and you. It's, and it's so much. Truly. I'm, I appreciate I'm, it. I'm, no, I'm saying we as a collective <laughs> group because we're level ones. This is just. 26. That'll hit. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm failing miserably All over right. here. <laughs> Had to revise my statement after that one. Right. <laughs> one more hit. Okay, so I have a feature where I can re yeah. mm -hmm. I won't need to. Um, 11 points of piercing damage is the most wow. I can do. Very nice. <clears throat> okay. All right. Offhand with the dagger. Okay, non lethal. 19? I stab you in the carotid, non lethally. Of course. So it's just like you, he pushes you off to the side, and that kind of leaves an opening. He underestimates you just enough, just long enough. You come back with that swing, uh, the dagger, and he dodges that, but doesn't see the pommel of your longsword just ting on the side of the helmet. And he, it rings him. Uh, Rings his bell for a moment, um, but that is his turn, or that is your turn, Osric. Your turn. Yes, I'm swinging. Okay, I got no spells. This is the, uh, you're you're near which one? Go on, go on, cleric. Cleric. Okay. Oh, no. What was it? A uh, fourteen. Fourteen. If a seventeen couldn't hit, or a fourteen certainly is. All right. Uh, the first night that you hit, he goes back for you. That's an eight. Nope. Yeah. Uh, I guess wrung from uh, the previous hit, he goes to just to punch you and just easily you're able to step off to the side. Night number two, uh, dealing with you now, Leaf. Um, what's the save for uh, Hideous Laughter? 14. 14? He will save. That is exactly a 14. Now, that was his action, correct? Like, you rolled three 14s. And I'm like really upset about that. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's, really uh, that's our save DC right now. <laughs> it is his action to to get out of hideous laughter, right? Yeah. Okay. So he just goes. 
<laughs> and he begins to step forth to you, Leaf. Uh, a little bit of anger in his eyes, but that's his turn. The cleric, <laughs> she uh, kicks you to the ground. <laughs> and she lifts up her foot to just kind of, like, kick you. Uh, and even with all that weight, you're able to score boy. <laughs> Aha! Uh, I take off the backpack and just roll out the you way. Get out from under her uh, leaf. You see the the uh, the uh, that, that knight walking up to you, pissed off that he was forced to laugh and have a smile for once in his life. Um, <laughs> the only time. What do you do? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna run up to it, run up to him, and uh, try to like grab him, and I'm gonna use shock and grasp on him. Okay. Hold hit. Ah, misses. As you go to grab, he just pushes you back. Like these guys are tough. Top of the round. I tell you. Why did you roll my? It's a little more. Sorry about it. Uh, sixteen. You are engaged in combat with this guy. Roll uh, offhand. Nope. And he's just pushing you around. Seems he's finally starting to kind of understand. I don't know why I rolled that time. Uh, He's starting to kind of get the feel of how he should be handling you. You're a little bit more skilled than he anticipated. Uh, Osric, your turn. I'm going to point at the cleric and be like, you heathen! Vicious mockery. (laughs) Uh, wisdom 13. That's a crit fail. Ha <gasps> <gasps> Suck it, heathen. Wow. Something worked. Suck it, heathen. For two points of psychic damage. Okay. Non-lethal, of course. Okay. <laughs> just called Non-lethal her. aneurysm. I just yeah. screamed heathen ah, at her. Migraine. <laughs> Gave her a headache. Uh, <laughs> heathen! The first night... Uh, and I get up. <laughs> the first night seems to be getting ready to like really mess you up. He grabs his blade now by two hands. Oh uh, boy. <laughs> goes to swing with kind of like almost like a double hand fisted punch almost. And um, as he comes around uh, he gets chokeholded by uh, Theros. Yes! Theros has showed up. <laughs> uh, roll pretty good on <laughs> He grabs him. Up there. Oh, the guys that, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but as he holds this knight, uh, he's holding him for you. So uh, the second knight, though. Um, no, because uh, that's Leaf. Leaf has 14. That was a 13 to hit. Yes. <laughs> he goes to kick I'm you again slippery. because you're, because you're smaller and you're just quickly dodge out of the way. And then you just flies <laughs> up and just. Boonk, hits him a little bit in the head just to distract him. Um, the cleric, after him. what she just dealt with, uh, she goes to hit you. And it's a nine. It's the a nine. tide is turning. Your oh, God what? has failed you. <laughs> I gotta hit him one more time. <laughs> your, your God has abandoned you. <laughs> Leaf, your turn. I have, I'll, I'll, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to um okay, I'm gonna try a thing. I'm gonna use my my one card that's advantage on attack. Okay. Or an advantage on a shocking grasp. Okay. Now that you's back, I'm gonna actually try to use him and like hit him through the helmet. You can just set that off to the side. Out of the player pile now. Ah, twenty four again. Whoa! I get it. Yeah, you got it. Yes. I saw it too and I was like, oh you quit it. No, it was two damage. <laughs> that knight goes to kick you, and you grab the foot and just <laughs> shot and <it's> goes. Because <laughs> yeah. this leads into phase two of my plan. Oh boy! I'm going to run. I'm going to run from him since he doesn't have a reaction. That's the cool thing about shotgun grasp; they don't get reactions. So I'm going to run up to the cleric, and then I'm going to uh, I'm going to use my other card to shock and grasp her. Oh! Wait, doesn't Shock and Grasp have a thing where you have advantage against people wearing metal armor? Does it? Double check. 
I have advantage if the target is bearing armor made of metal. I yeah. I didn't notice that. That's I will give you, hold on real quick. Let me give you your card back that you just spent because you would have had advantage on that anyways. I'm going to so, use both cards on this one then. <laughs> well, no, you don't need to. You already have advantage. She also has metal armor on. Ah. You can save my advantage card. She is not as covered as um, the others are. But a 19 won't hit her. <laughs> I rolled two fives. That worked. Oh, no. <laughs> that was not oh, no. oh no! <laughs> what happened to me? <laughs> yeah. What happened? So, yeah, so oh, no, a seventeen wouldn't hit her. A nineteen wouldn't hit the other guys. Dang! I rolled a nineteen. To hit Just so we're clear. Um, so uh, you you run up, and I'm sorry, Dylan. The gooey card is gone. Right. <laughs> but you, you, it, it was right. a cool, cool visual. You see, Theros showed up. Now that you're kind of uh, over in this direction. Um. It is now uh, back to the top of the round, Neftalia. You have advantage on this as uh, Theros kind of holds this uh, this creature now. Go ahead. It's no longer a person. It's a thing. Did you roll two ones? No. Oh. I rolled a one and a three. <laughs> <laughs> Offhand? <laughs> yes. No, excuse me. A one and a three. I rolled two fours. Goodness gracious, man. I need a sage to bless my dice or... All right. Here, you, you use, use the set I'm not using. Your turn. Your <laughs> god has abandoned you, heathen. Vicious mockery. Yes. See what has happened. You're hitting a child. It's a wisdom 13. <laughs> that is a 12. <laughs> that it's, is a 12. It's getting to her. Three points of psychic damage. <laughs> All right, I gotta find the the, the sweet spots. Calling her a heathen. It is Theros' turn. <laughs> he uh, turns to you. <laughs> you heathen. <laughs> oh, Osric, <laughs> can I get my axe back? <laughs> heathen. <laughs> <laughs> he tosses the axe. Theros reaches out, grabs it, pushes the knight towards you, and not you. Towards <laughs> Neftalia. <laughs> and then he takes the, uh, the, the axe, like, kind of broadside and mm -hmm. just goes to smack him right in the helmet. No. <laughs> just, <laughs> misses completely. <laughs> no. Um, as the knight kind of bumps into you, enough, he says. Um, and you guys continue. Uh, he turns to you. Oh my God. And he just goes to like, he tries to grab you, but you push back. Off. Now it's it's getting crazy now because now you push off of him. He's get, he's going class, uh, back uh, closer to Theros now. And uh, night number two, that uh, leaf just messed up. He gains control of his senses again after being shocked through metal. Walks up to you, Leaf, with a 19. Oh my God. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it hits. And he takes the, the sword broadside and just smacks you in the back of the head. Ooh. 10 points. That's rude. Oh, yeah, I'm down. That's exactly my, that's my hit points. And leave. <coughs> hits the ground. And you, Osric. Yeah. You watch as uh, this cleric of Wardane kind of backs up in horror as she looks at Young Leaf now on the ground, unconscious. Maybe a little bit of blood coming out the back of his head. And she looks out to her two knights. Enough! 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 <laughs> we leave now! And as she begins to walk away with her knights, she, she seems very like distraught right now. Um, you guys are still young. And now she's responsible for this. As she walks away, you can see not 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 necessarily a teary-eyed uh, woman, but basically uh, someone who's very scared, almost. As she walks away, she shouts out back to you all, Damnation on your vile people! Shizat! One day, one day, your sins will come back to haunt you. And she walks away with her two knights 
one of them pretty roughed up. <laughs> um, a new dent in his armor. Uh, but as they walk away, Theros, you, and Osric run up to Leaf, who is um, knocked unconscious. It was non-lethal, so no death saves or nothing. Um, Saving throw. <laughs> but as <laughs> roll the one. Oh no! <laughs> as you guys walk up to him, here I, I'm saving this for one of the fights, and he hands you a healing potion. Dump it into Leaf's mouth. Is it 2d4? 2d4 plus 2. Go ahead. <laughs> you stay. Okay. Five points of healing. Leaf, take five. And as you kind of come back to, you see Theros over. I saw you, so I had to come. I'm glad I did. Like he's cast back. To- the dark sun. She's consumed us all. Oh, oh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> the mistress of the deep is called the drums. Yeah, you you got you got your bell rung pretty bad there. Leaf, here, come, come. And he kind of reaches under you like a child and just picks you back up onto your feet. You okay? I, I, I've been better. I'm okay. Thank you for helping. At least those, um, at least they're gone. I'll let, uh, Cray and Brian know. If, um, uh, I see them again, I'll tell Cray and Brian, they'll, they'll deal with them. No one wants to deal with Cray. And Brian's crazy. <laughs> he stands up. But uh, back to my duties. Uh, you, good job. And you, three, also. Good job. Thanks for the help. Thanks. Yeah, you. Thanks for oh. the call. Oh. I, I, I wanted some uh, some action today that wasn't scheduled. <laughs> um, <laughs> see you all around. See ya. He walks off. Um, so... Where to next? Um. Oh well. Because you are by the. That's uh, an interesting puppet. point. You're by the puppet show in the Sirius's tent. Yes, Lee. I wonder if she saw me getting my butt handed to me. Um. I was just wondering if you would still be there or not since I was knocked unconscious. I don't know. It says if like you drops down to zero hit points, they disappear. But it didn't say anything about me, which is weird. No, it, no. I uh, I would. It's like uh, it's like a being on its own. It's like having Icarus. Like if you drop, he just kind of stays until he goes. Yeah. No, you're okay. good. Um, Yay. He survived. <laughs> um... I think Neftali is just going to kind of wander towards the puppet show because that's what she was trying to defend anyway and just make sure everybody's okay. Okay. Everyone seems fine as you walk up. It's kind of business as normal. The crowd has kind of regrown in the moments you were talking to Theros. Um, and a show seem, seemingly is about to come. So, the Blue Veil Union says as usual. Um, so, behind the tall tent and across from uh, Cellar's Row sits a large orange and gold booth with red curtains drawn across the front and sides. Its wooden facade is carved and uh, painted to look much like the tents of the Blue Veil. The grass is flattened all around it, and you find some of your fellow Frenta here. They look tired uh, as they attempt to keep the Unstas corralled in this area and out of trouble. It seems they recently made a trip to Friend's Stand for some treats. Uh, treats, Judging by Strand and uh, Kalista's fencing with empty kebab sticks. <laughs> uh, occasionally, the two call for a timeout to take another bite from the half-eaten skewers in their other hands before resuming the duel. Vezzy, 
uh, runs by with a bag of candied nuts in hand, followed by teary-eyed Jovessa, who struggles to keep up with her. Jovessa sniffles and squeaks out a magical phrase, and the bag is tugged of Vessie's grip by an invisible force and returns to a surly Jovessa who sticks her tongue out and blows raspberries at the other girl. Uh, young Krita sits expectantly in front of the booth, humming to herself and happily chewing on a warm pastry. Janig, Boreg and Kanasi's youngest son, um, youngest child, is shadow boxing with the side of a wall of the with side of the wall of the puppet show. And uh, Trom and Trem are running circles around their chaperones, but peel off to stand proudly before you as you are walking up. And they call out to you first, Osric. Uh, Trom and Trem, uh, the twins, obviously. Hey. Oh. Trem, Trom, Trom, Trem. So, as, um. Kiss words, man. Huh? I said, kiss words backwards. <laughs> as, as you walk up to them, um, they call out to you. Osric, 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 Osric. Hey. We tr- found a really cool item. And then that was Trom. Now Trem will speak. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have it right. Wait, do you have it? It's like, yeah, 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 I have it. He, he pulls it out and, and, they, and they present to you um, a masterfully carved smoking pipe in the shape of a rotund frog. Oh. Looking up with its mouth wide open to form the bowl. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, we could give this to you for a few, um, uh, and then the other one speaks up, Sylves, if you don't mind. Um, or some snacks. Um, we, we really like the Humber Nuts. You guys hungry? Could you make something for us real quick? The puppet show's about to start soon. How about, how about this? Uh, I'll give you the rest of the other two treats right here, and I'll pull the basket out uh-huh. of the fennel, and I'll be like, there's one for each of you in here. <gasps> now, we I've got enough money today to cover this. Is it pool bread? Mm-hmm. Made fresh this morning. And look at each other. Hold on. They both back up a little bit, and they're just talking. The just like... <laughs> yeah, they do. They do like a little two-person huddle. Like, we could we could get that later, but I don't know. I mean, I, I'm really hungry right now, and 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 if Osric made it, Osric Osric's pretty good. Yeah, I think so too. Um, but we could we could we could get selves. Screw the selves! I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Deal. Yeah. Okay. All right. They both say in unison. Deal. While they were huddled, I would have snuck like a little like, couple extra scones in there for them. Oh, while, while they weren't paying basket. To, yeah, just like putting a little extra food in there for them. And it was kind of like, like, you drive a hard bargain, gentlemen. And I'll <laughs> hand the basket to them. As they hand the basket, uh, Trem hands you the, uh, the, the smoking pipe. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, we are uh, Hanataz. You know, we're not going to be friends forever, so we really got to you got to brush up. Yeah. I see. Working glad, hard. Gl- glad we could do business with uh, with you, Mr. Humble Pot. Good doing business with you, <laughs> too, as well. Um, and, oh, almost forgot. He pulls out a little, like, pouch and tosses it to you. You catch it. It is a uh, half-full pouch of Envolin Red Leaf for your smoking pipe. <laughs> is this uh is this frog been used already? Um <laughs> roll me a perception check. <laughs> <We're doing. laughs> Trying to make sure the kids looks didn't really clean. If it was used, it. it was cleaned very well. Right. Um however Right as this transaction finishes. The show's starting. And 
uh, Tron and Trem run away <laughs> back behind the uh, the puppet show. And the lot of you get to watch briefly uh, as the curtains pull back. I mean, actually, the curtains pull back on the booth and a music box. The tiny stage plays a garbled but jaunty tune. The Eustas all abandon their current activities to go watch as they are joined by several local children that run over to see the puppet show as well. A sheet with a Hanatas caravan roughly painted on it rises behind the booth and several stuffed cloth dolls held up on wooden sticks rise up to begin the tale. Wouldn't forget. Another hand out. Demons. Demons. I'm just kidding. There are demons, demons, right? But the um, puppet show, it's a little bit more like a marionette show. But um the oddly colored puppets, all dressed in a distinctly Hanatas attire, bumble about, bumping into each other, dropping things, and making silly noises to delight uh to the to the delight of the children. Yet, as they fool about, dark figures appear at the edges of the booth. Though fashioned in the same innocuous style as the others, there is something sinister about the puppets, and the children cry out in warning to the Hanatas dolls. As the dark puppets move in to attack, another shadowy figure emerges amongst the Hanatas. Yet this one has a smirking and colorful mask and a hat sporting silver bells. The mischievous new doll darts back and forth, outmatching the dark figures single-handedly before driving them off entirely. The children cheer and the puppet bows before slipping away, leaving the joyous Hanatas dolls to wiggle and dance in victory. Yet strangely, as the curtains slowly draw closed, the sticks holding many of the puppets aloft inexplicably snap, sending the dolls tumbling into the crowd of children. Only a handful of the puppets remain upright, and as you catch a final glimpse, those few final remaining figures look oddly familiar, almost like crude representations of you, the Zatis. Derby. So, Leaf, I need you to roll me a constitution saving throw. Oh, what? No. no. I just came back. No. <laughs> I can't die again. <laughs> I rolled a five. <laughs> Leaf, you begin to go dizzy. Your vision blurs and you feel nauseous. You fall to your knees. Two of you, distracted by... um or really focused on uh, the puppet show, even you still notice this. You turn and see Lee fall to his knees. Um, For the time being, Leaf, you have a negative two on initiative rolls and a negative two on attack and damage rolls. Oh, rough. And yeah. you guys have seen the puppet show. This is not part of it. Never has been. It's odd. Very. Do the uh, do the children seem upset? Or, sorry, do the Yunstas seem upset? The Yunstas just seemed like it was like a surprise that the puppets fell into the, the stage. But as they fall, they, they like a couple of them pick them up and start dancing with them. Uh, okay. And they're bothered none the wiser. Okay. Leaf, however, is having a no good, terrible day. <laughs> Hey, does everything seem to be? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you see, uh, Winterberry Cordial and pool bread just uh, on on the floor. In front oh, of you. Leaf, what's going on, bud? You okay? Everything, everything, everything is so, I think we gotta. We can't let you drink no more, bud. This is not. This is not how it's supposed to go. I think, I think you hit me. I think you hit me a lot harder than I thought he did. He doesn't have any green you pimples on him, does he? You might have a concussion, Leaf. I'm just gonna lay down. I'm just gonna. I'm 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 gonna
I was taking a nap. Good night. His leaf lays down next to his vomit. Uh, I'm gonna just make it. Just go make away. It. Just, <laughs> just, just, no, he doesn't need to be sleeping by that. Okay. Um, <laughs> just sleep, please. Yeah, leaf just kind of knocks himself out for a little bit. What do you guys do next? Um. Do we want to? Do we want to hang out for a bit? Make sure he's all right. I can keep the kids distracted pretty easy. I mean, we still have to do our rounds. I can carry him. It's not a big deal. Are we sure we don't want to take him to the Borag town at somebody? Just put him in the bag. We will not be putting him in the bag. <laughs> don't even n- no, get that I'm idea out. Put you. Leaf on my shoulders. Leaf on your shoulders. Mm-hmm. And when he's like situated, I swear, if you throw up on my head. <laughs> All right. At least give me like a tap to let me know it's coming. As you guys begin to leave, Krita, Krita, Klista, and little, little, uh, Javessa run over and give the three of you, even though one of you is kind of up on the shoulders, to give the three of you hugs as they were waiting for the brave Zontis to finally make their way around to the puppet show. I'll put Leaf down for, <laughs> so he can get his hug. Leaf, your head hugs. Is still throbbing. <laughs> These three little girls just like immediately um, smother you with hugs. And uh, as they do, they... <laughs> They um, start to speak and just hero worship, essentially. Leaf, 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 what have you done? What have you done today? What have you guys? Did you, did you, did you, did you, did you do the hand trick? And uh, she references the the trick that she did earlier to to get that little bag. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. This was. Uh, So she speaks to you. <laughs> did did you did you do the little trick today to get to get any bags? No, not today. I'm I'm working. I'm protecting everybody. I fought a bear. You fought a bear? And then the other two a just big bear. <laughs> and then uh <laughs> Lista walks up to you, Nephi. Is is that a new sword? Can I hold it? <laughs> She's just gonna reach up. <laughs> Did it come with a sheath? Yeah. Can I hold the sword? I'll take the sword and the sheath together. She just. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 because the sheath. Is... Wait! Whoa! 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 <laughs> She's about nine years old, and she's holding this thing. It's almost as tall as her. Well, <laughs> please be is... careful. I am, and she like stabs it to the ground. She's like, "I'm a warrior, just like you." <laughs> you <Here>. definitely <laughs> look like a warrior. She picks it up and just tries to she- re- sheath it. <laughs> I'm gonna like put my hand in the flat side of the blade and assist. Thanks. I'm not as strong as you yet. She hands it back to you, and then um, little Krita walks up. Yes, Frida. Frida's four years old. Did you make any snacks today? I always make a snack. Just for you, Frida. And I'll kind of like dig through a little side pouch. Mm -hmm. And I'll pull out um, a little traveler's mug. And it's just a little mug cake. And I'll hand it to her with a spoon in it. There you go. Just how you like it, Frida. Grabs the spoon like a weapon and just <laughs> <laughs> mouthful. <laughs> Thank you, Ostrick. You're welcome, Krita. Um, and then uh, Trom and Trem make their way back over to you all. And they're like playing tag with each other. 
a call out to you, uh, Osric. When you use your pipe, can you do the... Yes! Told you you could do it. And they just keep on running, running around. Um, little Stren walks up to you guys and he says, uh, did the girls tell you about about the guy with the scarf? No. The guy with the scarf? He's got like three three bags on his on his on his belt of gold. And and we were talking and 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 Jovessa said that the little hand trick would work. Leaf, you could do the hand trick. We could get more golds, Leaf. What color is the scarf? He went that way, and like three of them say that, and they all point in different directions. <laughs> <laughs> went that way. It's not, not what I asked, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> what color is the scarf? That way. And then Janig walks up. Janig, um, the youngest son of uh, Borag and Kanasi. As he walks up, he's just, he's, he's kind of like a little tough kid. He's trying to act mm. all tough, but he's not a bully in any, mm. any mean, means of the word. He walks up, kind of crosses his arms. He's like rolled up his sleeves to, to kind of bolster his, uh, his muscles. Right. He's just like, guys, they've got a job to do. We can't be distracting them. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you they all just kind of look over to him and kind of like, yeah, I know. And then you see little uh little Krita just like starts doing like that little child run. It's just like it's it's not <laughs> she could easily follow not the running. She's just <laughs> holding the yeah, it's not effective. That's good. <laughs> she starts running with little little what was it, a mud? Little mud mud cake. Little mud cake yeah, you mud. had planned for her. <laughs> and as she's like running away, she's like waves goodbye. Um Bye. <laughs> Jovessa says if you see the 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 scarf guy, can you try the hand thing? I want to know how it goes. His coins will be mine. <laughs> um, and you see little Vezzy come out from behind you. Oh, hey, 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 there you are. A little pan she just totally took off of you. I found your pan, Osric. Oh, thank you. Where'd you find it? In your bag. You can put back. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where that went. <laughs> it's um, like, ooh, I gotta and then, that uh, now. <laughs> and then Kalista looks back to you. Good luck, Zatis. I'll be a warrior like you one day. I'll protect the Hanataz. She starts to walk away as they kind of go back to get corralled by the other friend. To, um... You guys continue. Um, where to next? Uh, uh, being a warrior, this is painful. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to be a warrior anymore. Man. I just want to cook. <laughs> I want to go to bed. Like it's like two, what two in the afternoon? I'm just looking at the sun, <laughs> suns, and be like, uh, staring at the sun. Yeah. What time is it? <laughs> the numbers will arrive in my head. Tell me your secrets. <laughs> Fine then, keep your secrets. Where are we going, Zatis? Sirius' tent. Sirius' tent. tent. All right, so you gotta follow the leader. So, as you guys uh, make your way towards the Sirius' tent, da, da, da. new handout. Kind of like the white detail on top almost made me think it was covered in spider webs, and I was like, oh, not again. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. oh no, ride. <laughs> um I fight and I'm running. <laughs> so in front of you is the uh pink rune and star covered tent where Mother Salvenza uses the site to read the fortunes of the townies that come to visit the carnival. As you look, you see a wide-eyed young farmhand exit the Sirius's tent. He seems to be staring off into space while muttering to himself under his breath. He is followed several moments later by Mother Salvenza. Her face lights up with a genuine smile when she sees the three of you. She eagerly weighs you over, ignoring the line of hopeful and nervous-looking uh, locals 
that stand outside the entrance to, uh, to her tent. As she calls you over, she says, My friend, uh, how goes the day? If Bore can spare you for a moment, I, I have a favor to ask you. Her voice drops to a friendly and conspiratorial whisper as you come close. As you know, Jinx grants me the sight. And just a bit ago, I seen the vision of a dark thing in the woods. I also seen that there be some deal in death at the carnival today. I think you need to keep your eyes open. Some will try to spill blood today. And she looks at you. I think you've already seen some. But, my children, that is not the only problem you can help me with. She lowers her voice even further and looks over your shoulders back towards Stu's tent. Over there. She points at a group of acolytes. Them figured themselves... Better diviners than old Salvenza. They didn't like what I saw, and they wouldn't pay. Please, go collect what they owe. And perhaps a bit more for the trouble. And they don't need to know their debt's been paid. For those of you with the sticky fingers, this should be no problem, yes? Um, Leaf, she looks mainly to you. <laughs> Ants for Leaf. Batis of the Hanatas to prove his quality. <laughs> I accept your mission. So, as uh, she is about to send you all to exact uh, payment for, for those that wronged her, um, suddenly a brawny local woman in a leather apron, followed by half a dozen other angry locals, approaches. She stomps to the front of the line and points a finger at Mother Salvenza, yelling at her loudly so everyone in line can hear her. She walks up. She points. This old crone is a charlatan and a fraud. She spins webs of guesses and lies to dupe honest folk. Don't waste your hard-earned coin just to hear her babble some nonsense at you. Rather than rising to the bait, you see Mother Salvenza's eyes start to cloud over. Ooh. You have seen this happen before. Usually before the sight reveals something of importance to her. She silently stands before her accusers like a rigid statue. The crowd, however, seems to get more angry that she's not responding and all that stand in between the motionless Mother Salvenza and them, an angry crowd, is you. What do you do? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's not be rash. Rash? She's lying to all of us. We know you shizats. You come here every... What? Year is it now? You come, you spin your lies, you take from us. We know things are rigged. But we wanted to give you all the benefit of the doubt. But now, spreading lies to affect my own personal life. No. I will not stand for this. Well, you did not have to come, my dear. Have you been hurt by it in any way? My husband. Well, what did he do? What happened to him? He steps forward. You see a man begin to make his way up towards top. Uh, or, sorry, towards the front. Sweetheart, I... It was only a discussion I wanted to have with you. <laughs> and she turns back to him. If you do not think you found your love with me and that it is somewhere else outside of Nevermore, then go. If you really want to believe some shizat old woman, 
she reaches down and picks up a rock to throw it at. Uh, I'm gonna try to intercept her. Okay, what do you do? Um, do you want to try to catch the rock, or do you actually go and stop her? I'm going to try to stop her. Okay, make me an athletics check. I should have known. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Five. Four. <laughs> she goes to throw, and as she does, um, you step up real quick, just grab the, the wrist. She kind of shakes off of you. In that motion, she does drop the rock. Furious, a couple other uh, townsfolk begin to step forward and speak on her behalf, essentially mad that Shizat put her hand on a townie. Um, or rather, should I say, as the Shizat put her hand on a respected member of Nevermore. Oh, um, oh yeah, they're not townies. So, uh, <laughs> one of them speaks out. She told my boy that they ain't gonna find anything here in my business. He ran off just the other day. What's your business? My butcher. There's like, what, 40 butchers in this town? 20. Don't well, don't you think there's some, some other skill you might be interested in rather than competing so harshly with business? Another one calls out. To my boy, my only son, his life be in danger and never more. He left me. You see that man, the butcher, and, and those two kind of look and just like understand, like they're in solidarity for each other. And they look back at their common enemy, the Hanatas, right now. Listen, I understand that you all are hurt, but if you didn't want to hear her. Deck save. Oh. I can't get a word out edgewise. These. Crit fail. <laughs> Leaf, you watch a very smooth <laughs> rock get thrown and hit oh. you on the head. One point right. bludgeoning. Ooh, smooth. <laughs> As you get hit on the head. Next move. I'm pull. Are they still He's talking? Yeah, a lot of them are talking. That rock came from far back in the crowd. For all oh. you know, it was someone trying to start something that's not even involved in this. I'm not going to give them that satisfaction. I'm just going to pick up the rock mm -hmm. and hand it to Leaf. <laughs> New rock for you, Leaf. Is there like a... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to just pull out the saxophone and I'm just going to start just loudly outplaying anybody who's talking because they're just... They're not going to listen. <laughs> so it's just... It is just... Do, 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 do. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, I didn't play I'm gonna the use minor illusion. Use minor illusion to throw a voice in the back of the crowd, and I'm gonna like, just like a, as loud as I like, as loud as I can, without it like being obvious that I'm doing it. To be like, like that man from Nevermore is a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yes, yes, Queen. I was gonna do up. one voice in the back, so like in one direction, and say. uh that man from Nevermore is a whore. And then if I can get away with it the same turn, I was going to do another one on the other side. I was going to be like, it's probably because his wife is a bee. <laughs> <laughs> do it. And fighting. Roll me a stealth check. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. We're getting thrown at. I got a 22. <laughs> So, you, <laughs> so, are you, so how are you doing this again? Well, uh, it's minor illusion, so I figured I could probably just like put my hands behind my back and cast spells. And since I'm tiny, I could hide behind a pack or something and just like kind of alter and project my voice, I guess. All right. Small. As the one calls out, hey, what'd you roll it one more time? A 22. Oh, yeah. As one calls out, uh, as one of your minor illusions uh, call out a couple of faces turn but the, uh, the woman in the front um, 
The woman is still very focused uh, towards the front. As the second voice calls, you see uh, that man, the other woman, the older one, uh, look back in that direction. Definitely, uh, this helps to disperse the crowd. Um, but this other, the woman in, in the front, who is the most angry, the one with the leather apron, it's not good enough. It's not. And you hear uh, the man call out, it's not the life I wanted. <gasps> the woman in front begins to tear up, <gasps> looks back towards you guys like it's your responsibility that her life is now ruined. We were blacksmiths. Blacksmiths. Successful business. And now he wants to go become some traveling bard so he can give all the beautiful women. I'm sorry to hear that. I've had enough. I've had enough. She reaches down to her boot and goes to pull out um, <laughs> essentially a blacksmith's hammer. <laughs> and she begins to approach with it now drawn. Approach who? Right. Trying to get past you guys to get to the what? clouded eyed Mother Salvenza. Uh -oh. All right, I'm going to run up and I'm going to. I'm gonna use a. I'm gonna, cast, I'm gonna cast friends, which is on myself to her. As far as I can okay. see, there's no. I'm gonna. I'm gonna run up. It's like, hello. I get how you feel. But you gotta know. He's doing you a favor. You have a chance to finally be free. He's just weighing you down. You know he you know you're the better blacksmith. All this quality was shoddy. He just he ruined the metal, costing you extra money. Now, now you have the chance to be the best blacksmith in town. That's you. Miss Miss You. The best blacksmith in Nevermore. <laughs> Removed of your chains. Roll me a persuasion check. With advantage! <laughs> With advantage. Because the friends fell. Because <laughs> of friends. You better hope she leaves. <laughs> uh, 18. The hammer just falls out of her hand. What am I going to do? She reaches down, picks it up, and just begins to walk away. My, so, Leaf, as at this time, you begin to get a tingling sensation, kind of just as that nauseous feeling was beginning to leave you, a different feeling begins to overtake your mind. The two of you begin to hear gibberish coming out of uh, Mother Salvance's mouth. You've heard this before sometimes. She speaks in ways that you don't understand. However... Leaf, it sounds clear to you, although it's still whispered and you're not sure what it is, but as she speaks it, it gets burned into your mind. The crowd begins to disperse. And Mother Salvenza returns to normal. But her words burned into your mind. You know them by heart, word for word, as if you created it. I need the two of you for one more time. Leave the table. Oh, yeah! It's in a row. <laughs> a hot streak. Leaf, inside of your mind now, these words are burned. Uh, this is the handout for it. It reads, far away in darkness lie the place of Dem 
who live to die. The rot's decay comes from the deep. Where terrors in the shadows creep. The darkest night brings evil's rise. The screaming silence in night skies. A somber truth behind black stone. The lie you find is yours alone. In shadowed mists, you seek your path. In ancient depths, you seek his wrath. The time does come when all must choose. Learn well the trickster's godly ruse. So. What does it mean? So, after that. Um. Mother Salvensa. kind of returns back to normal after her little overtaking of the sight of the or the sight overtaking her uh, thank you again dear friend i find myself feeling uh, most very don't worry about me i just need to sit she forces a weak smile that isn't entirely convincing off with you now borag needs you to be keeping an eye for whatever trouble the troop is facing. Get me my payment back. She hobbles back into her tent as the crowd disperses from around. Um, so, with that, her new mission to find whoever this acolyte was. We're going to go ahead and leave that here. Until next time, when we return to Carnival. This very long and fun day at Carnival. Um, Damn, this one day is killing us. <laughs> so, I thought some kind of Maticus days were long. Yeah. Like, goodness great. <laughs> but uh, with that... Thank you for stopping by, Traveler. It really means a lot to us. We hope you enjoyed your time. Uh, we enjoyed it uh, very much. Um, yeah. Until next time. Uh, <laughs> stay safe, Traveler, and keep moving forward. Goodbye. <laughs>